Hello everyone, welcome to my corner of the world. Probably some of the hardest cards I find to make are those for the fellas in our lives. So today's card is, is a masculine one and I'm featuring a stamp set which I think helps me tremendously and that's the Ocean Front stamp set uh, which has, has got pieces to sort of build up a uh, like a, a well build up this scene basically um, as well as these lovely grasses uh, that uh, can make the card just that little bit more masculine and because this stamp set doesn't have any greetings I'm going to my most bestest favourite greeting stamp set that's in the current annual catalogue that's the 2022-2023 annual catalogue and I love this one because it's got greetings that we use all the time. Happy birthday, thinking of you, just a note and thank you. Um, and it's got it in three, four different sizes with different fonts. And it just works for practically anything um, that, uh, that you want to do. So if you don't already have this one, I strongly recommend that you get this one in your stash. So my colour combination is very vanilla crushed curry uh, and also some early espresso with a couple of our sort of sea, sea type blues. Um, so let's make a start in building this one up for you. So I've got a piece of um, very vanilla and I'm going to start by putting down my greeting. Uh, that way I know that I've got sufficient room for it. Sometimes I've gotten carried away and built up my picture only to find I don't really have any room for my greeting. So uh, this is the largest happy birthday that's in the, in the set. And I'm just gonna lay it down toward the bottom of my piece of card like that and that's with the uh, early espresso then i've got the stamps that build up the the sort of graduated beach scene so there's 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 three of them here and the first one I'm going to put down and I'm going to use uh, crumb cake and I'm going to pop it so that it's, let me just make sure I got it the right way up. Yep, I think that's, yeah, I've got it right. <laughs> so I'm gonna pop it so that the, this part here, this sort of very rough edge is going to sort of roughly be level with uh, the top of my greeting. And I'm gonna pop it in the center of my card there. And then the next piece, if you look, it's got the same sort of angle and it's gonna go right there. And for this one, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to use pool party ink make sure I got it the right way around and I'm going to pop that so that it kind of I'm not sure whether this is the sea or the horizon or what but anyway it works well in the pool party and then my final piece is really looking off into the horizon and when you when you look carefully at the stamp you'll see that it's kind of got a thicker band here and then it trails off faint up to the top and so I'm gonna stamp it so that the thicker band marries up to this one here and I'm just going to pop it down like that, press firmly. And there I've got my 
my scene. Now I've got a few a little bits of gap in the ink, but I think that adds to the effect. That could be a nice little wispy cloud going in there. So I'm not going to get overly upset about that. Then I'm going to go back to my early espresso. And usually for me, I'm using more than one or two ink colours. And uh, I've now got the grasses. So there's this one here, which is quite tall. So I'm going to pop that um, to the left hand of my design. And then there's sort of a medium sized one. And this has got like seed heads on. So we're going to pop that one. And I'm going to just line it up roughly like that. And then my final one is just like a little bunch of grasses. And I'm going to pop it like that. And there I've got my scene, which I think looks quite masculine. Hopefully it does anyway. Inside my card, I always do a liner. Those of you who follow me will be... Um, familiar with the fact I do my I put a liner inside my card uh, this is where I'm going to write my greeting my to you love from me and I'm just going to use this and I'm not going to stamp fully on the cardstock otherwise I haven't got enough enough room for me to write and then finally my envelope and we're just going to go ahead and pop this one and then um, I'll use the grasses again but as you can see I haven't got it fully on my my envelope I just wanted like a little the tips really so there's all our stamping and so we're just going to pull it together I'm going to use some of my liquid adhesive. So this is the piece that goes in the middle. I'm just going to centre it up. And then I'm going to place this piece on my... Piece of crushed curry now all the measurements as well as the supplies for making this card um, will be on my blog and if you look just below this video you'll see a link which will take you to there you'll be able to um, see exactly what I've used and then we're going to pop some dimensionals on the back hmm these are funny the backing's coming off a little bit never mind we can make it work. Oh. <laughs> so as you can see, this is really quite a quick and easy card. And again, um, I've been sharing some videos with you just recently where I am just using ink, stamps, and cardstock to create my my cards so there we are well I hope you've enjoyed this quick and easy card I certainly enjoyed sharing it with you if you have perhaps you go ahead and give me a little thumbs up on 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 YouTube if you don't already subscribe I really would love it if you would do that and then if you have any comments, I'm always open to hearing what you have to say. Well, thank you for joining me today. Bye for now.